So here we are now on this stage. We have the boat and being animated on a curve and um, a boundary layer uh, and the flip container with the flip solver um, being created. Now we will continue from here to modify the flip solver in sub. One of the things I want to do, I want to raise the for raising, yeah, I want to raise the water line. So this is the collide, this is the boundary, and the flip solver water line. Let's make it two meter, so a little bit higher, and the uh, separation point five for now. Let me keep one screen okay this is the collide this is the boundary now we are in pressure let's try the velocity see where we at so this is the animation with the boundary of a velocity speedy port is let me make a flip book 120 so this is with velocity and this is with pressure As you can see, with the pressure, it will create more waves and more splashes. Okay, next thing we can do also in the flip solver under water line in the additional velocity we can add more velocity as long because we have the boundary here and it is the negative x so let's give it 10 for now then it's too much let's say 5 so we have more Splashes boundary flow, you can create small bound around it. And I'll just make it a little bit bigger. extra velocity is being added to the initial velocity according to the direction let's 
this let me increase it to or even four and I will increase the resolution point one give it a minute it's written here you can add an initial velocity and direction to the waterline particle to create a stream of water similar to river New particles are constantly sourced and removed at the domain boundary. Okay, let's see it now. So, as we can see here, it will create extra detail. This is more useful when you want your boat to be static. It's not moving, and the water is moving below it, so it will create this um, detail that uh, if the, like the boat is moving. So this is how we use it. We create some geometry boundary around the ship, and we connect it to the boundary flow. And in the water line, we add the additional velocity. I'll keep it zero, and I will delete this one and move to the next subject. Uh, in this subject we will create some collision that the boat will try to avoid so it will be here somewhere here okay so let me create mm, a box I will add it here let me take it out from here delete here create in context better so port let's add it here and I will move it somewhere make it big is going like this like this so put it here rotate it give it some division and select the edge and I want to add some modification Deform linear tabbing. Let me just fix my. I want to raise it up. Just a little. Let's create some mountain noise. Quick one. Here we will add flip collide. Let's go. Sorry, I go here. They add another flip 
collide and add my mountain okay so let's have a look let me check this one let's make it just four and view it now with our camera I'm creating another box so we can have also another geometry to collide with I'm adding point four and here let's add noise let's go with um, turbulence noise that we will add we will add it to the position so here is our position with the position and the noise will go here and the output in the position let's increase it frequency little bit here amplitude roughness attenuation turbulence okay I'll add more Can be a little bit square. And after that, I will do VTB from Polygon. I just want something quick. And here, volume, no, volume reshape. Where is the VTB? Here the density with the density. Let's add uh, turbulence noise. Take the position. We add it to the density. And let's see the amplitude. noise density with density so if we change it to position anyway uh, noise attribute noise can add also the cloud noise here we want be same thing, element size, offset, amplitude, anyway we have something here, let's add it here and duplicate this one, this node and it's connected to this part let's go to the beginning and save flip let me visualize the collision ok see whatever is being seen by the flip only will be included so let's have a look now. A little bit slower, just let me go here into the box and decrease just some rough animation. So I made the colliding wall smaller and I added here a little bit of um, minus one in the Z axis so it's, it will be hitting the wall. So we are having a collision here. I think. What next? 
now we will tackle the uprising the simulation but I want to go here I have this mountain so we from frame let's see again I'll make it closer no intersection first then I can bring it even closer shape a little bit so we still have more area here so we can upraise our simulation just in a second so here it is with low res as you can see we have a little bit of splashes here and there so I will just uh, save it with um, higher Resolution, let's say two. So, here, where is the flip? Flip, flip, flip. Fluid. Let's save it with a file. 